have you ever going to shopping mall by driving your own car but when you enter the parking lot there is no available parking so with a gloomy expression on your face you return home don't worry our team have a solution for this problem that is called smart parking system Hi everyone, my name is Muhammad Aiman Bijafar, but you can call me Light. I am 32 years old and currently pursue my study in University Technology Malaysia (UTM) and major in Mechanical Engineering. Today, I would like to share with you guys about my latest IoT project that is called Smart Parking System. But before that, I would like to introduce my teammate. I am from Group Two, and my teammates are Muhammad Imarunga bin Hafizal, Amirul Hakimi bin Amran, Wong Kayang. Kui Chuang Yi, Oi Jinping, Muhammad Shafiq bin Abdul Razak and myself, Muhammad Aiman bin Jaafar. So why we need smart parking system? The spike in demand for parking space is mostly due to two key trends. First is the increased ownership automobile and second is the increased urbanization. The growing scale of urbanization brings more challenge in terms of infrastructure planning and transportation network, including the rising demand for comfortable parking. That is why we need smart parking system. It can reduce the cost of the fuel consumed in the hunt for a parking space. Such as at the mall, we are going to search the parking. But using the smart parking system, we can easily take the parking slot available and it can save our time and our fuel and the money. Next, it can safely secure our car and prevent from unwanted theft from stealing our car. According to Vehicle Theft Reduction Council of Malaysian Bahar, VTEC, they found out that at least 20 vehicles were stolen in each day in 2020. So, our car in a risk and we need to secure our car. By using this system also, we can easily detect the parking slot available through the devices. This system will assist the driver in locating an available parking space. The available parking space can be checked using a mobile device or digital display next to the road which will direct the driver to the available spot. The information is used to help driver find available parking space quickly. There are several features in this smart parking system. First, optimizing parking system. There are sensors that will detect the distance between the car and the wall. The driver will be signaled to avoid the car from crash into the wall. It will also notify if there is a disturbance on the parking site. Also, smart counter system. This system will send real-time monitoring parking occupancy to the driver through mobile devices. The driver can easily locate available parking in a huge building. It will save time and fuel consume in searching parking slot. Next, barrier lock system. The user can control the lock of the parking space. This feature is good to prevent unauthorized parking or car thief from stealing the car. For this project, we are going to use Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi control board as our microprocessor. We will make the electrical connection on the breadboard and use this breadboard power supply to supply the voltage on the board. Next, we will use IR sensor as a digital sensor to detect the incoming car to the car park. For analog sensor, we are going to use ultrasonic distance sensor to calculate the distance between the car and the wall. This project analog output PWM is LED that serves as a warning signal. Resistor is used to regulate the voltage that goes into the LED to prevent it from burning out. The servo motor will serve as a gate to enter and exit the parking lot. We also use jumper wire to connect two points to each other without soldering. For this circuit, as you can see, the red color, the breadboard power supply module is connected to the AC plug to power up this breadboard. On the top part of the board, the power supply module is set up to be 3.3 volt, and the lower part of the board is set up to be 5 volt. The non MCU ESP8266 is connected to the USB port of the laptop to give out the output signal. There are two IR sensors because there will be opening gate and another one is closing gate. The IR sensor will detect if there is object in front of it. The servo motor will respond to the data output by the IR sensor. There are two LEDs used in this project. 
one is in green color and another one is in red color both led will serve as a warning signal to the driver the ultrasonic sensor will calculate the distance between the wall and the car and one extra IR sensor is used to connect to the blink app according to my design there will be two guard posts each with an IR sensor and a servo motor act as a gate and one parking lot the base of this parking lot is made up from recycled box the gate is made up from egg carton the barrier is used from an extra F4 paper and the road is made up from black sugar paper. In order to control the gate, both the blink apps and the circuit must be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. When the IR sensor detects a car and the control gateway is open, the gate will rise. However, if the control gateway is closed, even if the IR sensor detects a car, the gate will not rise. The procedure begins at the entry gate. When the IR sensor detects a car, the barrier will rise. The vehicle will proceed to the available parking space display on the Blink apps. When the driver wants to park in the spot, he will see two LED. If the driver parks too near to the wall, the red LED will illuminate because it can potentially causing harm to the vehicle. For my project, the minimum distance for the ultrasonic sensor can detect is 5 cm. So, if the distance between the car and the wall is less than 5 cm, the red LED will light up. And, if the driver parks too close to the wall, the ultrasonic sensor will show an impossible value. If you can see on the Blinks app, when the parking is occupied, the display will show zero value on the parking slot. Finally, the exit gate. The exit gate functions in the same way as the entry gate. The barrier will leave when the IR sensor detects an automobile. So that's all from me, thank you for watching.